Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of Diddy Kong Racing. I am here racing as Crunch today, who in my opinion is probably the worst character in the game. He's like Banjo in a lot of respects, but I feel like his stats are even worse than Banjo's. Again, really great top speed, but his control and acceleration is... Well, pretty much crap. <laughs> Uh, before we get started, I had a failed recording session, so uh, the Hovercraft Challenge is actually available to us right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that while I'm here. The Hovercraft Challenge is a lot more difficult than the Car Challenge. We actually cover a big piece of the land that is Timber Island. You see a lot of the different areas... You can actually see where you can access some of the worlds of the game. You can actually access World 2 right there. Uh, you can only get there with the plane, though, so we'll have to switch to the plane when we're done with this. And I can't exactly show it to you right now, but to the left of us is actually World 3, so... Those are uh, two of the worlds we still need to find. There is a fourth world, though, that will... Remain hidden until we find it. But for now, let's just focus on this race. Uh, don't go too far off the track or out of your way. Because if you go too far off the given path, uh, you'll actually be forced to restart and do the race over again. And let's face it, nobody wants to do that. So just stick to the race track as best as you can. But we are using the hovercraft. This is our first use of the hovercraft. The hovercraft's pretty cool. It doesn't have as much turning as the car and plane do. But it does have the ability to hop, and you can kind of use that to your advantage so you don't lose so much speed whenever you turn. Me personally, though, the hovercraft is one of my favorite vehicles. It's actually my favorite vehicle in this game, believe it or not. I honestly love using the hovercraft more than I like using the car, and I think that's saying a lot. But yeah, since we uh, beat Taj again, we're going to go ahead and get another gold balloon. The balloon will actually get on our level, so we can actually grab it. Oh god, and Crunch's turning is so freaking bad, it's not even funny. Okay, there we go. Well, I'm going to go to Taj again. Change vehicles to the plane, and now we're going to move on to the second world of the game, which I believe is called... Is it... I want to say it's Sherbet Land, but no, no, I think that's the third world. Snowflake Mountain. Okay, Snowflake Mountain, my bad. Yeah, once again, we have four more race tracks. We have another key door. We have another boss door through this igloo, and down here is the trophy room. So, let's go ahead and get started with our first track, which is not TT. Sorry. I'm going to run into TT so many times during this playthrough, I can already tell. Okay, here we go. Everfrost Peak. Got another plane stage for you here, starting out. Once again, though, there are no hovercraft tracks, at least uh, main hovercraft tracks in this world, so... Just gonna be sticking with the plane and the car for the most part. This is when the, the courses start getting a little more dynamic. As you can see, it's not just a round circle anymore. This is actually kind of a figure eight track, which is kind of cool. It's a very interesting figure eight track because in a strange way, you can't exactly see the other part of the track. because I believe it takes place under inside this cave. So we're actually going past the finish line right now, but we can't even see where the finish line is until we take this other turn. 
I always thought that was kind of interesting about this track. But yeah, there you go. That was the uh, collection of 10 missiles you get for the level 3 red balloon. Oh, there's actually another balloon right there I can show off. I'll show it off later. But the last power-up you get is the rainbow balloon. And the rainbow balloon actually gives you a magnet power. Which, for the first two levels, you can actually uh, use the magnet to get caught up with a player that's in front of you. And the level 3 power, you actually bring the opponent back towards you, so... It's a really interesting power, but I wouldn't say it's really that useful. It's more... It's more cool in application, not necessarily in actual use, if that makes any sense. Let's go ahead and move on to the next track. Next track we have is Walrus Cove over here. Walrus Cove is another really cool track of this game. Probably, probably my favorite track in this world. It's got really cool music and a really cool part of the level, which is this part right here. We have actually have a loop-de-loop. -loop. There's not really a lot you can do on the loop-de-loop. -loop. It kind of locks you out of using any of your powers and abilities, so don't think you can take advantage of that. But this track is definitely not the best for crunch, though. Just because of this turning. You're going to really need to use the uh, kind of uh, on two wheels turning if you want to make some of these turns. Oh god. Ah! Come on, Crunch. Stay on the road, buddy. Stay on the road. I believe in you. God, I'm in fifth place right now. That's that's kind of sad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm sure I can catch up. I'm just glad I'm doing these tracks with Crunch, not the coin challenges. Oh my god, that's gonna be that's gonna be rough. Oh man. Oh god, come on, Crunch. <laughs> I might have to redo this one. Jesus. Why is this turning so bad? do this though. I'm gonna have to get really really lucky with some of these uh, turns. Okay yeah there's no way I can do it. Bumper's already too far ahead and that happened. Yep it's over. Okay let's retry. Okay about to start lap three. Uh, doing a lot better this time around. As you can see I'm obviously in first place so... <laughs> That's already a much better start. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, you gotta really be careful with Crunch. His top speed is freaking amazing, but... You gotta actually get him there first. That's the only thing. Oh, dang it. And you can't make stupid mistakes like that, because with, unlike other characters, whenever Crunch hits something, it's gonna take him a long time to be able to get moving again. Okay, but I think I am going to be alright. There we go. <laughs> I love how the AI got stuck right there. It's kind of funny. Okay, well, let's go ahead and move on to the next track. Uh, next we have Snowball Valley. 
Gonna go ahead and do a bit of a spoiler alert right here. There is actually a key in this level. But it's kind of out of the way, so I'm not going to grab it until I already beat the track. It's, it's right at the beginning, so there's not a lot to it in actually grabbing the key. But because Crunch is such a terrible racer, <laughs> I think it'd be better if I just waited to uh, get the key after I beat this course. Snowball Valley is another very fun track. It kind of goes back to the, uh, you know, simple circle uh, mechanic of all the racetracks in terms of what they look like, but the cool thing about this one is there are different forks and different paths you can take. And then there's a huge freaking snowball at the very end, too. I always thought this part was really, really cool. I'm actually going to go the other way this time because I don't want to Oh dang, someone actually had a freaking missile waiting for me. I don't know if I approve of that. Take that, did he? Oh god, there's still people ahead of me though. Well dang it. I'm gonna have to do this track again anyway. Let's try again. There is actually kind of a speedrun strat for this game where if you uh, press the start button just as you pass the finish line in first place, you can actually uh, skip the cutscene if you return to the lobby. But uh, I'm not going to worry about it. But before we move on, I am going to do one last thing. I'm going to go ahead and try to grab the key that we can get. He is actually right over here. And there it is. Hello, Key. How are you today? Now, if you're lucky enough, you can make it back on the racetrack and still win the race, but uh, for me, I'm way too far behind, so let's just return to the lobby. And now we can access the battle course of Snowflake Mountain. I'll, of course, do it later. Probably in the next video at some point. But we have one more level left. We have Frosty Village. This is another track that's actually really solid. I also love the music for this track as well. God, why is the music in this game so freaking good? Ah, it's so freaking good. I remember for the longest time, I actually had a lot of trouble for the silver coin challenge when it came to this track. I don't know why, there was just one part of it that I couldn't nail right for some reason. I'm sure it's a lot easier for me now though, especially since I'll probably not be using Crunch or Banjo, so... Yeah, I'm just not really a big fan of the heavy characters in this game. As cool as their top speed is, it's... I just want to have that control that a lot of the lighter characters have. It just feels more perfect for me. God, I missed that zipper. I won't... Oh, no, I'll miss that one too. That's one of the zippers at the end that you can't really afford to miss, because if someone's right behind you, they can just very easily hit that speed boost and beat you at the very end, and that's always extremely disheartening. Oh, 
Oh no, I missed it. Okay, I gotta hit the speed boost. Oh my god, thank god. <laughs> thank god I still won, seriously. That would have been really, really bad if I lost that. But now that we've taken care of that, we can now access the boss once again. And what do we have for this world? Oh goody, a giant walrus! So, in this race, we actually get to use the hovercraft, because... Oh, why the hell not? Uh, this is, I think, the easiest of the boss fights. I never really feel like the walrus is really that challenging. Probably because a lot of his track is actually very straightforward. There aren't a lot of turns, and for the most part, you just have to go straight and it'll be fine. We do get that super cool boss music, though. Again, the freaking music in this game. My god. So freaking good. Music, why are you so good? And there we go. Do, Wally. Will do. And we get another tip from Taj. Take your finger off the accelerator before you hit a zipper. Once again, another fact I already shared with you guys. <laughs> I know so much about this game, don't I? But before we finish, I think I am going to go ahead and do this battle course just to get it out of the way. This battle course is called Icicle Pyramid, and this is basically Mario Kart Battle Mode. So as you can see in this mode, you have eight bananas every time you hit an opponent. They lose two bananas, so everyone has basically four hits. And your goal is to just uh, knock everybody out. Last player remaining wins. You gotta be very, very careful though, cause you never know when these guys are gonna pop up and scare you. Especially Conquer. You never want to walk in on Conquer in a dark alley. Even though this is technically before Conquer got his mean streak. Nice. Oh, and Conquer's already gone. Damn. <laughs> it's no wonder he got his mean streak after we just freaking eliminated him. Okay, it looks like Diddy Kong's gonna come. There he is. Haha, <laughs> I got him. Okay, I think Bumper just tried to. He did. Hey, Bumper. Ouch. Oh, nice hit, Diddy Kong. stupid. I ran right into that mine. But I think I got this. Aha! There we go. So yeah, pretty cool mode. I kind of wish all of the uh, battle mode courses were like that. No offense to the egg mini game, but it's, it's just kind of meh. And we get another piece of the TT Amulet. 
halfway done, but that is going to actually do it for this video. So this has been Slim Kirby. This has been Diddy Kong Racing. I'll see you guys next time where once again, change the character up and uh, we'll probably beat the rest of Snowflake Mountain as well. So see you guys then. Later, folks.